There's referee Daly. Whistle to the mouth, hand in the air, and we're underway in the Peter Mulholland Cup. The great man in 2023, Patrician Brothers, black down the crowd. They are up and about. Now yeah. they'll get their first touch of the footy and they'll roll it forward. Some solid shots there early. Rolling it forward, Le Mortor. Hines, that is. His, his brother was a, a late rule out. Latu, the Australian schoolboy. Rolls it forward. All of a sudden, he's five away from halfway, and they've got a head of steam both sides. De Corsi, his first touch. Forward pass called. It was a good first carry there by Latu, the co-captain in jumper 13. He's going to have a massive impression on this game. Same with De Corsi. Just the, the timing, a fraction off there. So good early field position for Westfields. Absolutely, and a big loss for Westfield. Luke Lili'i. Back, ruled out last week that hamstring injury boys, we saw up. that in the Arendelle game you called boys, that Phil and you up. did say at the time that it didn't look good back and he up, hopped straight up, off and he unfortunately right can't right. be here with his teammates right, in this but they'll try and ride it home for him right. here's their Wait first there. touch in. yeah big job right. for Daniel Wonga in jumper yeah. one for Westfields Parenthore Noel Williams gives it out the back for Galvin another one of these oh. Australian schoolboys on display today Cohen Lewis. Phil, you watch some footballers and I like this kid. Logan's I've seen him a number of times, Blake. Lewis. He just goes Go. forward. Go. He's a typical front row. They go the short side. Galvin. Quiroz Mapasua chopped. Here. Good tackle. Oh, Here, Corpor. He's opposite number four. That'll be a good clash. Yeah. Galvin floating across field. Threw it once, twice. Ends up picking up. LaPere. Pa. LaPere Pa gives it backwards for Wonga. Wonga bounces out of one. Blacktown defence comes and swallows him. Craig, this is where he's dangerous. Out of dummy half. This time he passes. They come back right to this open side. Looking for runners. Eventually Galvin in the hand. Short pass there. For now. On the last. Quiroz Mapasua must have thought about it. He's going to go back and play the ball. Play the ball. Last one. This for now. Kuriel's Mapasura, dummy half. Galvin will kick across the face. It's a nice kick. It's hanging, hanging. Up they go, down they come. Good take there. Jack Nicholas. And they drive him into the end goal. Yeah, great work on the end of that set. A nicely weighted kick off the boot of Galvin. Jack Nicholas is he's a classy winger as well. We're gonna we might see his finishing at some point down the other end of the park there. Clean under the high ball, but the defense was all over it. This is what we expected this opening. Three minutes. It's it's really is a volcano out there. Yeah, they're going at breakneck speed early in this one. So Sadir with a restart. The bounce is kind for Fui Tamal. And up they come, Kaborian underneath. Kuriel's Mapasura, dummy half again, gives it to Lewis. Lewis bounces off that right, just goes straight. He'll look to find his elbows and knees, and that's what he does. It's a quick play, the ball. Galvin comes the short side. Picks up for now. Kuriel's Mapasura again goes to dummy half. He's a big body, I wouldn't be. No, this time long pass for Galvin. Galvin does well. Looks for Pritchard. Pritchard wants a runner underneath and finds Bovella. Marker, Pritchard wait. again, looking, Go goes right, long pass. Parenthor in there, Williams. Galvin fires the pass out for Craig, flirting with the touchline. Wanga gets it. Craig did well to get the ball back for Go Wanga. Run, and Wanga will play it a metre out on the last. Wait. Gets light, a dummy half, fires a long pass and events it with Pritchard. Pritchard, what will he do? He straightens the point of attack. Galvin, they get up quickly. Now. Quiroz Mapasua with a head of steam. Builds it up still on the last. Just puts the little kick through. They get De Corsi has to clean it up. He'll come across. And he does well to get out of his in goal. Wilson De Corsi, yeah. he's a classy player. You can just tell when he gets his hands on the ball. Did well to get back into the field of play there. Lockie Galvin is going to be obviously instrumental for this Westfields team in attack both times. Down that left, he has opted for the short ball. Maybe just setting up to open up some space on the outside when they go down that part of the field in the opposition red zone next time. So the Patrician Brothers side now once again bringing out of their danger zone. They've had a lot of clean ball as well. As yet, Kirala on the last. Defence from Westfield, good. Sadir dummies the kick. Eventually gives himself plenty of room and it sits up nicely. Wanga goes back. 
flirting with this touchline. He bounces out of one, two. And Haywood comes and finishes him off with a little bit of help from his friends. Don't forget Patrician Brothers Blacktown. They kept St Dominic scoreless in their semi last week, winning that one 32 points to nil. No blemishes as of yet. That goal line defence is just outstanding. Well, they, they got out of the box quick, didn't they? And that was the key. And you can see Westfield, as I just mentioned there, Patrician Brothers haven't had good ball yet. It's always been bringing out their own zone. And now this penalty, it'll give Westfield good ball. Galvin tries to make a little bit of interest with a kick. We're here. the quick... Wait quick. For the time. Ball from the touch, uh, the ball boys, they get it eventually. Quiroz, Mapasua, rolls forward, oh. Pritchard scheming. Short, oh, that's a flat ball, they move okay. it quickly. Chef Hayes and Minnow, he keeps it one. alive. Parenthor and there, Williams. Still going, still one. La Pepa. Now. La Pepa oh. Go gets up now, Craig at dummy half. Pritchard scheming, had Lewis underneath, flat pass there, Vovella. And he drops the football. So the Patrician Brothers Blacktown defence settled. And just holding firm for the time being. Obviously outstanding in their execution defensively, communicating and trusting one another as well. Coming up big. It has been interesting to see the involvement of Heath Pritchard, the number nine for Westfield, involved in their attacking red zone sets as well. Getting his hands on plenty of pill at first receiver. And I think that's just giving Lockie Galvin an opportunity with a bit more width and a bit more time and space to do his thing. Great atmosphere here at Campbelltown Sports Stadium for this Peter Mulholland Cup. Grand final, nil-nil. Seven gone, first half. Now, Patrician Brothers, once again, bringing out of their danger zone. Through their number 12, Helen Gahu. It was his first touch. Yep, yep, yep. Latu. He's the danger man. They'll get they, Westfield will be aware of that. Back underneath. Le Motor. Yeah, Latu's had some good carries in the early stages so far. Here's another one. Gets the ball in two hands and drives it forward. On the last, they look for Sadia. Sadir puts it high in the air. Craig waits, takes it nicely. And he's met straight away by Nicholas, who drives him into the ground, but he gets straight up to Craig. Wonga. Yeah, Wonga's been really active and busy in these opening exchanges for Westfields. As we mentioned, huge shoes for him to fill today, and he's, so far he's been up to the task. Kedge light. Oh, they try the one on one strip and get away with it. Do they? It's still going backwards, backwards. Referee might be. No, they, they said play on. Patrician Brothers. Well done from Lato. He just he, re, he dove out and just got the tap back to deny one of those Westfields players to jump on it. Here, cool, Paul. He'll play it now right in the middle of the field, rolling onto oh. it. Here, He solidly met. Kornakis, which way will he go? He goes to the left for Sadir. Sadir beats one, beats two. They hang on to his leg. Pritchard it was. He's looking for a quick play of the ball. That's the key there. Ruck speed. Latu out the back. Finds Haywood. Haywood turns the ball underneath. Lemotor. Kornakis again. Flat pass on the last, looks for Latu. Latu will keep it alive. Konaka still puts the little kick through. Which way will it bounce? Crowe does well, cleans it up. But he can't do much as he's swallowed by the Patrician Brothers Blacktown defence. Lachlan Koinarkis, the number nine for Paddy's Blacktown. He is all class. You'll watch the way that he dictates when Patrician Brothers do start uh, to get some good field position with the ball in hand, but on that time, just summing up the situation perfectly, it was a little bit scrappy. He took a breath, he rolled it in in the end goal area. Six more tackles coming up if they can take this drop out cleanly. We do see more teams, of course, opting for the short one. So, play down for Westfield, the trainers yelled out, and it looks like the referee's just time off for the time being. Time off. The hands go in the air from the referee. Look at it down. Been a frantic 10 minutes. Looks like Westfields are going to 
bring an early rotation Good. into the game. Bryson and A. Roberts in jumper 19. Right, time's on. Good. Have to wait until they've got the ball in hand. So Craig gets plenty on the drop out. Kerala. No, He'll look for a quick play, the oh. boy. Hey, that's what he gets. Kanakis again. Kunakis, as you said, feel dangerous. Starting to just scheme with this forward package. Looking dangerous. They go to Sadir. Sadir. De Corsi. De Corsi driving forward. Spins around. Has he lost control? He hasn't. He's planted the football down. Wilson De Corsi. And don't the crowd love that? Now, every time Wilson De Corsi gets his hands on the ball, you can just tell that he's a footballer. He's not just a skillful and a fluent player, though, as well. He's got size as well for a number one. Sadir obviously turned the ball back inside this time to his fullback, and DeCourcy was able to just ride two or three tacklers over the try line and find a spot to put the ball down. Excellent work from Wilson DeCourcy. Yeah, it's a lead-up work, too, from their forwards, isn't it? The quick play of the boy, Kanakas, as you said. He's, he's got time. And Jet Sadir, the half. I mean, he's been one of the players of this competition uh, named in the schoolboy cup team of the year as we'll mention some of that in, in just a second as well but jet city he, he's got that perfect combination for a half of elite kicking game with the ball playing game and he doesn't mind a dart when it's when it's on offer as well we'll, we'll have a look at his goal kicking now as well that's all class this kid is a real talent absolutely and he looks now to add the extras of the de Corsi try Take it out to 6 4, 6 0. 12 gone, first half. I don't think they'll move the touch judges. Flags are in the air, 6 0. And you mentioned that, Peter Maholland Cup. Team of 23, Phil. At fullback was Sam Gass from Arendale College. Will Craig on the wing from Westfield Sports High. One wing. Daniel Wonger and Aidan Hodges. So Westfield's an endeavour. Jack Nicholas of Patrician Brothers Blacktown in the halves was okay, Lachlan Galvin from Westfield. <laughs> Jet Sadir, Patrician Brothers Blacktown in the front row. Jesse Millen from Erindale. Xavier Cachotti at Hooker. And Cody Hopwood, the other front rower from All Saints. Hines oh. Lemortor from Patrician Brothers Blacktown as Blacktown now bring it out of their danger zone after points. The, the 12, ball. Logan Spike, Spinks, Hold. sorry, from Farrah. The 13, Kai Ravenson, Doms. And the reserves were Jesse Williams, Patrician Brothers Fairfield, Jack Adder, St. Dominic's, oh. Wilson De Corsi, okay, Patrician Brothers good. Blacktown, and Lincoln Fletcher from Hill Sports. So, some contentious always when square. teams of the year have picked. Go, Phil, always some contentious ones. There's always going to be, but, you know, what, what jumps out right there is Clear we've got three one. players in go each of these Denzel back lines in the two grand final competing teams that were named in that team of the year so there's some real class on display in this final and that's a lovely set after points from the patrician brothers blacktown side finished up with a nice kick that's what you want galvin now just takes it out of dummy half just trying to get his side back on that front foot Quiroz mapasua his first real charge as he brings it out he had one opportunity earlier where he put the kick through and got the reset Galvin finds Craig looking for a bit of work. They drop him. And he keeps it alive nicely. Le Pepa. Seven stands. Hold. Pritchard. Things just slowing down a little bit now. Shafaz and Minnow fires it out for Galvin. Galvin Pop tries to pass and it's been knocked backwards. Cleaned up by Fui Tamal. They're trying the one-on-one -on -one strip there to no avail. We're on the last now. He won't muck around with that. He doesn't want any muck in the ruck. Galvin, you want to finish with a good kick. It's got good depth. Nicholas Waits takes it safely. Three on the back. Hold. Here. One and a penalty. Offside. I don't need to. A little bit keen there, Westfield. The yeah, it's been, I mean, we've almost 12, 12, hit the quarter mark in this game and only the one try so far, Patrician Brothers, Blacktown, they've, they've just sort of gained some, uh, you know, a, a bit of ascendancy in this one Here. off the back of their strong Wait. crowd as well. I mean, 
this crowd, the students, they are lifting this team pretty much every tackle in this game so far. It just must be, it must be such a thrill for the players out there. They slow it down now. Konakis finds Haywood. Haywood gives it on quickly. Lemotor. Le he moves it quickly. Kaborian. Kaborian stays away from that touch line. The Westfield's now. trying to pick him up and Here. drag him. Hold. He finds his feet now quickly. Kunakas floating across field. Flat pass. Oh, picks up three. Kerala. Quick play the ball. That's the key. Sadir, Sadir. Room to move. Helen Gahu. What about that quick play the ball? That was the key. Sadir just picked up a rare paging Jacob. Helen Gahu. Oh, hold it. Referees. Yeah. He hasn't pointed to the Wait, spot yet, Phil. I think he just wants the opinion of his touch so, judge before making any final decision judge. here. His ball carrying arms hit the ground. What? He's been held. That's tackle four. Play the ball. No. Play the ball to what have been a little ball, bit said? Just here. The time. Time still off. Referee's called time off. He didn't get the ball. Down. Play the ball here. Nine. Let's have a look at this replay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it was a, a really nice touch from Sidir as well, who summed things up. There was a an overlap, but it was going to be tough to to figure it out. So he, he just went the short option. I liked that, not trying to overplay his hand there close to the line on the front foot and certainly made Westfields turn up defensively. Well, they have turned up defensively because they've held it up. He's just short. So obviously on the last tackle. Yeah, great goal line defence. Well, they had us all tricked. As we yeah. watched the replay, he got up cheering. Young Alan Gahu. He doesn't become a footballer, he can be an actor. He had us all conned. <laughs> well, I think he was pretty convinced that he got there. But it keeps this game a little bit more interesting. Just the one, the one score, the difference, of course. And Patrician Brothers, Blacktown, they're set up, ready to go. And a big sweeping play to the right. Uh, no, they four. still do have the football, as Wait you say. Time on. A meter out. Time on. Hold. The back Go time four. on. Thank you. Sadia. Haywood. Haywood. De Corsi. De Corsi. Picks up Kaborian. Kaborian for the touch line. Just checking out the touch judge. He's going to have a chat to his referee. He'll point to the spot. Patricia Brothers, Blacktown. School. A really well worked play. Obviously, time to set that one up, get things organised, move from the left hand edge all the way across to this right wing in the corner. The ball went through plenty of sets of hands, and Wilson de Corsi will be credited with the try assist, the fullback. He's got that ball playing element to his game. It isn't just that big physical frame and, and the skill, of course, that we were talking about, but Aiden Kaborian in the corner as well. He has been, he's someone that's caught my eye this season in the Peter Mulholland's Cup because everything he does, he does with intention and decisiveness and physicality. We saw one of those kick chases where he went down and absolutely hammered his opposite number. That time it was a finish and touch in the corner. We well, had plenty of work to do when we had a look at that replay because it was a catch and pass from De Corsi. And that's what NRL teams are looking for. They're looking for wingers that have that ability to go to the corner and get the ball down through contact as well. Because at the end of the day, just about the number one job of your modern day NRL yeah, winger yeah. is to make sure they're finishing yeah, off tries saying, in the corner. Of course, the, the bringing the ball out of your own end, the ball carrying, that stuff's important. At the end of the day, we're here to score points. And he is a winger that has that finishing quality. They'll lift the roof off Campbelltown. <laughs> Sports Stadium, if Jet Sadir can lob this from the sideline. Yeah, he's got those schoolmates right behind him here. <laughs> Have a listen to the noise. If this looks like it's sailing through the, the middle of the uprights. He's a hell of a talent <laughs> off the kicking tee as well. I think we'll just let the crowd tell us. And they told us. How good was that? Flags are in the air. Patrician Brothers, Blacktown 12, leading Westfield Sports Eye yet to score. Still 12 minutes, still a half-time break. And yet the, the class of Jet Sadir is, is just starting to come to the, the fold now as well. 
setting up that try uh, on the left, their, their first of the afternoon that time. Just a clean pass as they swept it through hands. Yep, Westfields with the restart. I, I tell you what it is, and it's one thing we've seen through the last two, the quarterfinals and the semi. It's the ruck speed of this Patrician, Patrician Brothers Blacktown side. And I, I think Troy, Troy Whedon from Westfield, that's one thing you want to really slow down in the second half. Yeah, the compliments that I just gave Kabori and their, their right winger are, are an extension of what just about now. every player in this team does. It, it's just everything Bang is done at pace Andre. with intent and decisiveness. Sanger Lang on the field. Look out for him Stand as well. He was huge in that semi-final last week. Gets through a mountain of work and everything he does, it's with supreme impact. I'm down on Gunnarkas. Go five, only one marker. Sadia. Puts the kick through. Is it going to sit? Will Craig, you yep. can see him blowing it over the dead ball line. <laughs> Good positioning from Wanger at the back there. He just said to Jet Sidia, if you want to kick this one over the top, best of luck with that. <laughs> Sidia, if, if, it was, if it was, if he got that bounce, it would have been a perfectly weighted kick. You can just tell that he's got that class about the way that he, he gets the ball on the foot, Sidia. The pepper. He'll play it now one. as Westfields try and bring it out of that their danger zone. Off the back and lock in nine. Oh. Played ten Go. shy of halfway. Chaffee and Minnow. Nine clear left edge to me. Oh, referee's going to say he's just bobbled it in the play. The ball there appealing. Lachlan Galvin remonstrating with the referee. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing another angle of this, the way the ball just shot Where? out of the play the ball region there. We can do that for you. <laughs> Schaffhausen, Minnow with the carry just over halfway. Yeah, it was just, he could feel it coming loose and then he's pulled the arm in to try and regain possession and he's just projected the ball out the back of his legs. Well, the referee was right there, and the replays justified the decision. So now, Patrician Brothers, Blacktown, they'll get the scrum in the middle of the field, right on halfway. Wilson, of course, he gets through one. Wonga had to come. That's all had to be made. It did have to be made, because he was gone. He looked up, all he could see was green grass. Onto the field. Tukafu, Jersey 16. Waiting here. Here. which way will he go? He goes to Sadir on that left. Sadir bounces off the left. They off get him. Now, I'm just trying run. to see who made the tackle. It had to be go made. Forward. And A. Roberts, it was. His second run in the set. To Garfu. The oh. set up to the right. Har Haywood on the last tackle. That's where it goes. Haywood. Haywood puts the little kick Play through. Out. It's played out for Galvin. 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 Can he go all the way? De Corsi's coming. De Corsi's chasing Lachlan Galvin. Beats him. Still keeps going. Haywood. He did well, Galvin. Hung on to the football. You can see he really wanted now. Out of dummy half. Here they come. Quiroz Mapasua. De Corsi gets back. Makes the tackle with Sangaleng. Galvin into dummy half. After the kick, the retrieve kick, he's done well. Have a look at the numbers to the right. That's where they've got to go. Parent Doyen oh, there, Williams. He wants it. He gets it. Can they shoot it out the back? Oh, they get up quick and it's stopped. Still had numbers to the right. It's slowed right down now. Patrician Brothers get, get their defensive line set. Wonga, Wonga, can he reach out and plant the ball down? Referee points to the spot. Wonga bangs the ball down. And on the back of that brilliant break from Galvin, they score. Yeah, and well done because they, they didn't lose their, their head and they, they didn't lose their call there. Perhaps they could have shifted one tackle earlier. There was still space to work the ball out to Will Craig's wing, but Wonga was good enough to address the fact that the Patrician Brothers Blacktown defensive line was trying to retreat and trying to scramble across to its left. And there was going to be an opening, as we see Lachlan Galvin, who set this one up. Uh, off the back of that deflected kick, not quite enough pace, but how about the footwork to send Wilson to Corsi onto all fours? Um, but yeah, he, and here is that moment, Wonga just stepping off the the right, as, a, addressing the fact that Sidia was scrambling to his left and taking advantage, showing enough uh, enough just brute force at the line 
to go through and plant the ball down. Phil, sometimes you need something to flick the switch. Is that the moment for yeah, Westfield yeah. Sports High? Uh, at the end of the day, they're down 12 nil. You get that deflective kick off Galvin, he goes 80, and they score off the back. And maybe that's just the, the, the ignite they needed. Yeah, it has been a, a pretty evenly poised first half. They had their chances early on in this game. Patrician Brothers Blacktown were, were, were able to hold on defensively uh, in those early exchanges before scoring a few up the other, a couple of tries up the other end. But there's no doubt about it that Westfields will feel confident enough that they can win this ball game. And for the first time in a couple of weeks now, Paddy's Blacktown, they finally conceded some points. Yeah, great point you make. Yeah. It'll be Roy Quiroz Mapasua. Hoping to add the extras. I'll let you give him his new nickname. I enjoyed that last week. RQM. <laughs> now, RQM does the job, adds the extras. And we are 12 points to six. Yeah, just under six minutes left in this first half. And Daniel Wonga, who we've said a couple of times, had massive shoes to fill coming into this game, coming into the number one jumper. Well, he hasn't put a foot wrong yet. And now he's got his, himself onto the score sheet as well. And, of course, he was named at centre in that Peter Mulholland Cup team of the year. So some positional changes for his. Him, DeCourcy, gets us with the restart. Galvin takes it and pops Pick it back. Ulfa Noah. Go one. Ulfa Noah onto the field in Jersey 15. Chavez and Minnow does well, keeps it alive, finds Galvin. Six Backing four. up. You can just tell why oh. the West Tigers are so keen to get Galvin Go into their top group. There. Go 10. Chavez and Minnow, he's been good with his touches Seven, early. The grip. Well, throughout oh. this first yeah. half as well. Go. Salah Noah. A dummy half now in Jersey, 14. Pritchard's done a good job when he was on the field. He might, yeah, Let Pritchard's still out there. That's what they tend to do, Westfield. Salanova <laughs> comes on and Pritchard goes Wait. to seven. Wait. Wait. And that's Go what they've down. done again this time as Four. Pritchard yeah. now gets the football. Good shot. You can oh, hear the five, crowd. Five. La Pepa Wait. solidly met. Go five, they're good. Pritchard. It's a nice kick to Corsi. Not a lot of attention on the kick. Galvin wraps him up, help! takes it nicely. A little bit of help from, for now. I don't mind that tactic from Westfields and from La Lau Go Pepper. Back. Just trying to run Wait. it, sit in, make him do Wait. some defensive work. Just take Wait. a little bit of sting out of his step. Help! Not even let go of the back. Hold. The big Go's couple of sets before this halftime break. So dear, they shift it quickly. Will Cray involved in defence, picks up the Blacktown player and drives him backwards. Go three. Thank you. Not square. Here, hold by. Hold. Go four. Alan Gahu. Futia Law. His first touch. Sadir won't muck around now. It's on the last tackle anyway. Gets plenty of purchase on this. Lovely kick. As it sits up nicely for Wonga. Wonga in turns. Turns Fui to Mal. Back underneath. Galvin finds Craig coming around. He just runs straight at the offside player. Still offside, is he? No, he got himself back into the situation. Did Haywood. Yeah, and they get the penalty. Yeah. What vision was that from, from Will Craig coming all the way from the other wing to get involved in that play, work it down the short side, figure out which defenders are, are on their haunches, and then looking for that quick play, the ball as well, comes up with a penalty for his team. Just outstanding work from the right winger. Yeah, clever work. Leading try scorer in this Peter Mahollen Cup, of, cup, of course. Will Craig. There's RQM. <laughs> Quiroz Mapasui charging. Go one. Oh, little knock yeah. on there. You could just see they gave themselves up, didn't just they? Just got a little bit eager. Getting back to his feet. And there's a massive lift for the home crowd. Patrician Brothers Blacktown, who did find themselves on the back foot in that moment. And now a chance to just regain some of that ascendancy. 
as you say, he just got to his feet, did Quiroz Mapasur, and he just couldn't control the football. It's bobbled it out, but what it's done, it's given Patrician Brothers Blacktown a wonderful wait, opportunity. Wait, wait. Prior to the halftime break. Go. Good touch finder from Sidir as well. Picked up a good 20 metres there to start this set on the opposition 40. Lemotor, Monarchus, which way will he go? Sangalang. Sangalang gets inside one, coming across, going, making the no. tackle. Shao Hazen Minow oh. and had to be made. Konakis, Sadia, Sadia, De Corsi, quick pass, gets it on quickly. The Patrick, De Corsi at dummy half, looks for Sadia, finds him. Sangalang bounces out of one. Sadia out on this right hand side now. He's just about everywhere for Paddy's. Well, he's got the ball in hands now. Fires it for Haywood. Haywood. And they get the shift going, rolling oh, forward. Oh, Good, strong carry. Here, Corpo on the last tackle now. Hayward, he'll look. Looks across. Kunakas, he was aiming for the goalpost cover, I think. But I'll tell you what, good chase. Wonga, he got picked up and dragged back in the in goal by De Corsi. Yeah, great work defensively on his opposite number there yeah. from Wilson De Corsi. A decent looking kick from Koinakis, but Wong was in the perfect spot to pick that one off and <laughs> De Corsi was just up to the task and read it perfectly. They won't be in a hurry Westfields here as we roll into the final 30 seconds. I think the referee might make them take it though. Will Craig's just picked the ball up now. The way Jet City just takes the ball to the line as well. He just creates so much confusion for an opposition defence. So Craig with the drop out. Taken by Lemotor. Lemotor now. Seven seconds, which what will they do? Sadir might say, I might take one here. Let's go into the bank. Does indeed. Griff puts the hand in the air and they'll hit the halftime siren with Patrician Brothers Blacktown 13 leading Westfield Sports I 6. De Corsi it is, this Blacktown side, they've got plenty of supporters here, they're making plenty of noise, and Westfield will get their chance with the football first in this second half. Galvin goes into oh. dummy half, he's had some good touches. Solid defence once again to start things. Both sides look, still look fresh. There hasn't been any injuries. So, oh, there's a long pass. Is that touched in there? No, referee says play on. Pritchard cleans it up after Schaffhaus and Minow. Like he got a little touch on it. Here's Schaffhaus and Minow now. I wouldn't mind seeing Westfields just throw some traffic at Jet Sadir as well. Just ask him to do a few things defensively and just get him breathing a little bit heavier. Yeah, it's a great point you make as Galvin finds touch. So a nice end of the set. Where do you want it? The ball. 20. 20. Middle. I like the I like the the usage of the word breathing just then, Phil. It's a good point, yeah, mate. Get, get those lungs making get up and down a few times, and that's probably what they will look at doing as Patrician Brothers Blacktown get their hands on the football. It, it's classic finals footy conditions out there. And, and part and parcel of that is the fact that it, it's already getting warm out there as well. It's particularly warm this time of year. The sun is out today. So, you know, the, the conditions are perfect, but at the same time, you've been playing all throughout the winter and all of a sudden, this is when that cramping can start to appear. And also, you know, whilst you might be fit, this is a new challenge. Absolutely, De Corsi. It's a great point. Strong carry, Helen Gahu. He's been solid. For his, for his patrician brother side and once again he gets the quick play the ball they go the short side patrick patrick back inside de corsi de corsi can he get his hands free he did but coming across will craig makes a tackle that had to be made as de corsi tried to keep it alive will craig might have just kept his side in the in the contest it's fair if, if they score there and, and move more than two converted tries ahead with momentum, I don't know if Paddy's Blacktown are getting run down. So, incredible effort there from Will Craig in cover. Also, just a, a really classy play from Lachlan Koinakis out of dummy half to use that vision uh, to see that gap down the short side and take full advantage. So, now a defensive scrum for Westfield. They're on their, their defensive 10. 
They'll try and roll it out. Sanger Lang involved in the tackle. There. Wonga. The try scorer for Westfields. How good's he been? Daniel Wonga, the fullback. Been busy. Oh, it's been a show. Both fullbacks have been outstanding. Craig. He'll pop up everywhere in this second half. I've got the feeling. The winger with the green boots. Over halfway. Another strong Crowry. Peter Tutte. Pritchard scheming. On the last. Plenty of noise. The drums are out there. On the last tackle. Pritchard. Galvin. They're more than happy to will it. Oh, the ball. Unfortunately, did they know it was the last tackle? Wonga through the pass and it just went forward. Yeah, they just decided to throw it through the hands there. I'm pretty sure they were aware it was the last, but Galvin got it sort of off balance, moving forward, didn't really have time to do anything other than just tip the ball on. And the outside players were just that fraction too flat to take full advantage of the overlap. Yeah, well, Fennell threw the flick, didn't he? Hoping for something, but as you said, they were just too flat now. Patrician Brothers side, roll it forward, or oh, penalty. A little bit of muck in the ruck. That might have been that trying to slow it down a little bit, and maybe the referee's not going to put up with it. He's saw the high tackle. Yeah, just another look there. Good first up contact, but yeah, just too high in the, the tackle there from Tyrus Salanoa. You're just not going to get away with grappling a bloke around the neck. Sangalang. Gnarkas rolling forward. He's been busy since he's come on the field. Butialo had some strong carries. Player down for Westfield. Eventually gets up Sadir. Sadir had runners outside. Spins out a one, two. They get him on his back. Slow it down. Of course, he looked like he was going to go to dummy half. He stays at first receiver and receives it now. Wasn't held, says the referee. Ball rolls up for Haywood. Haywood just straightens it up. Throws the little dummy and hangs on it. He'll get on his back as well. Bonarcus comes back for De Corsi. First off the ruck, decides to have a crack. Good tackle. Underneath. Salanoa. Oh, oh, a little knock on Sadia. He can't do it all that time. He, he was a little bit in front of himself. I think that's the first error we've seen from him in, throughout this entire game. Just about it. Not the cleanest service out of dummy half but a pass he obviously takes 99 times out of 100 probably just had a, a bit of a glance up just to see what was in front of him as well and just knocked the ball on and once again Westfields are just hanging on right now and if they're the next to score it's obviously it's well and truly game on but they just have to make sure that Paddy's Blacktown don't get any further in front at this stage of the second half. Well, the only time they're getting the football is bringing out the danger zone at the moment, so we'll see what happens now. It was a Galvin just working it around, picks up Quiroz, map of sewer. They go back to the short side for Galvin. He hasn't got a lot of runners outside of him and picks up for now. Galvin again, out of dummy half. Wolfa Nora keeps it alive for Galvin. They go back. Wonga's outside of him. He just straightens it up. Good leg drive. Makes plenty of metres. And they've sang a lang eventually drives it to the ground on the last tackle. Who will it go to? It goes to Pritchard. Pritchard puts it high. It's a nice kick. Waiting up they go. Down oh. they come. And Jack Nicholas goes, thank you very much. Well, I hope the... GWS Giant Scouts are down here today as well because my goodness Jack Nicholas taking a, a leaf out of key f a key forwards book right there it was a great take Gaborian now coming in looking for it a little bit of work as well Kanakis this time looks up they haven't had a lot of football they take a while out of dummy half, he says, I've had enough of this. Wonga positions himself beautifully. And he'll look up. All he can see is the, the yellow, blue and the white. And that's a great tackle. Yeah, good, good chase. But good field position for Westfields to start this set. Obviously, we've spoken about them having to be the next team to score. Paddy's Blacktown through from the quarterfinal stage through to right now. They've only conceded two tries in that time. 
So they need to make sure that this lead doesn't get any further in front than seven points. Quiroz Mapasua, good charge. He'll play it 40 out. Vivella, black on the field. Little scoot out of dummy half, Salah Noah, and it's a good scoot he makes. Now that hand will go in the air from the referee for the last tackle. Takes a while to get to his feet. He'll play it 12 out. Pritchard, Pritchard puts it on the toe, driving, coming across. Nicholas, that's all he could do, pick it up and just run it dead. So Westfields will get what they wanted, that repeat set, Phil. Yeah, two times in a row that kick has gone to the wing of Jack Nicholas, and he's been able to come up just with the clean play Blemish free footy, you know, takes the, the catch above his head, of course, before there and was able to read that bounce as well. A nice little kick grubber through a repeat set. That's the result the Westfields needed, though. Referees, referees called time off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, so it's uh, Tyra Salanoa who was slow to get back up to his feet after that handy little dart out of dummy half. And it looks like he's just getting that left ankle strapped now. So hopefully that means he's said to the trainer, no, 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 I'm, I'm staying out there. I'm staying in this game. If you've just joined us, the game earlier today was the New South Wales Schoolgirl Cup. And it was the Hills Sports High School who just ran out winners. 20 points to 14 over Erindale College. It was a high quality game of footy between the two schools. And just further enhances the women's competition in its first year, Phil. It was a good game. Yeah, it was a, an absolute cracker. It was great to see Arendale fight back and, and make sure that it, the, the match went the full distance, which it did. And six points it was in the end. And here's seven points here. Let's see if this one can also go down to the wire. Well, for Nora now for Westfield on tackle one. Pritchard, Pritchard looking for runners. Oh, ball finds the deck. Nicholas, can he get hold of it? No, he can't. Wanga has to go back, clean up the crumbs. Craig will go from dummy half. Which way will he look? He'll go to Pritchard to the open. Now Pritchard, Ta'i. He's picked up and driven backwards. Some solid defence there. Salanoa out of dummy half finds Pritchard. Pritchard, Galvin, Galvin, like a laser bullet. Hines, Lair, Mortez says, come here and drives him to the ground. Galvin gets up, he says a few words. Quiros Mapasua says, just give me the football. Charges four, they block him now and get him to the ground. Slowly. Last tackle. He's going to be allowed. Galvin looks like he goes short. He puts the little kick through. Bodies everywhere. Grounded in the end goal. Drop out. And Aiden Kaborian claimed it over there on, on the far wing, said I was the one that grounded the ball. Normally that's a giveaway that he wasn't, but there wasn't a lot of cheering either that came from uh, Westfield's number 11, Sosefo Finau. So well done. And a nice little play from Galvin just to get another repeat set and again, just flatten the energy of Paddy's brother's Blacktown who are having to make a bunch of tackles back to back. This is how Westfields are going to find that crease on the goal line and, and work, their, work their way in for a second score. Latu with a big drop out. Wolfenora takes it cleanly. He'll bring it back. Can't get through the first tackle though. It was a good tackle. Here called Paul. Galvin at first receiver. And A. Hold Roberts. Hold. Go, two. Salanoa finds Pritchard. Pritchard inside Hold. ball for Vavella. Vavella tried to get to his feet and play quickly. They slow him down a little bit. Pritchard, Pritchard coming in. La Pepa. It was a good tackle. The first shots are sticking for Blackdown at the moment. Pritchard for Galvin. Galvin. Galvin, Wonga, Wonga looking for a double, drives the legs, they're going to hold him up, can he get it down? No, held up, it'll go back to 10. Great crowd, first scramble defence there from Paddy's Blacktown, you're seeing exactly why this side's only conceded two tries in two and a half finals games. Salanoa finds Pritchard, Pritchard, they get up quick, can he get away, he can, Galvin, this is where he's dangerous, he'll look around, no. seize the opportunity, Wanga chasing oh, hard, me. into the hands of M.A. Roberts, and M.A. Roberts will score, that's the trick they wanted, 
Galvin with room to move, just put the little kick through. Outstanding work from Lockie Galvin, rolling one in behind and just creating some chaos at the end of the day, putting the ball on the deck and, and obviously the Paddy's Blacktown uh, back three just couldn't handle that one cleanly, didn't get the bounce that they were after and Westfields were able to take full advantage. Sometimes that's what you've just got to do, roll one in behind and see what happens. In the end, Kaborian just did not get the bounce he was looking for that time. And hats off to Bryce and N.A. Roberts. The chase was there. He, he really had the head down, just keeping an eye on the football. Obviously, Galvin as well had to work his way out of, out of the grasp of that defender that shot up on the outside as well. He was able to work back across field and then create something pretty much out of nothing. And it's game on, Sully. Well, Roy... Kuros Mapasua should headbutt this over, and we're going to we've got a one-point ball game with 17 minutes left. And you know, sometimes when you are struggling to, to figure out a way to the goal line against a team that's just defending their own try line with such superiority, the way that we've seen out of Paddy's Blacktown right the way through this Peter Mulholland Cup, some, you just have to create something with the boot, and that's exactly what Lachlan Galvin was able to do. Uh, and that, that has to be such a, a positive sign too for the West Tigers who of course will have the services of Galvin in, in the, the top 30 squ squad next year. They need guys that make good decisions in the, in the opposition red zone. Well, it's the second year of the Peter Mulholland Cup. We saw an absolute classic last year. And we might have another one on our hands. And I'll tell you what, the great man will be smiling. Because this is what he loved, schoolboy football. We've got a great example of it so far in this 2023 grand final. And A. Roberts, after points, keen to get his hands on the football. Salonora. The good thing is you don't have to be Peter Mulholland to, to see the talent on no. display. You know, the, the most casual of rugby league fans could be watching this game and thinking, how many talented kids are out there right now? Yeah, great point you make. Winding up, there's another one. For now, putting his hand up on that left edge. Salonora, that leg's not real good. He's hopping on it. He just went over on it just a minute ago. So that could be a big loss. Pritchard might have to go back to nine. Galvin. Galvin puts it high in the air. Nicholas again. Up he goes all this time. Has it gone back? Yes, it has. He did well. He, pro he probably didn't need to throw the arms high up in the air then. He could have taken that chest mark, but I love the confidence. I love the fact that he's able to back himself and, uh, and, and that time he was able to get it going backwards. And as we said, Tyrus Salonora, he just made his way off the field, so back on. Baron Torre and there, Williams. And also Cohen Evans getting ready to go as Patrician Brothers black down. Sadia, Sadia. He picks up Helen Gahu. He'll play it on the last, just shy of halfway. Sadir this time keeps it flat. They get a kind bounce. Louis Tamal brings it back now to this Westfield side. 13-12, they trail by a point. Quiroz, Mapasua, another strong carry. And we're now into a flow where we've had a couple of sets, no interruptions. Who's going to put their hand up here? Which players, which leaders, which team is going to be the one that finishes the stronger? 14 minutes left. Craig gets us over halfway. Pritchard back into half. Oh, it was a long, it was a long pass. It was a pass he wanted by Vela to run on to, but unfortunately he's knocked it on. Sadir cleans up the crumbs, and all of a sudden, Patrician Brothers Blacktown, they haven't been down here for a while. Patrick rolls it forward. The crowd now getting behind. This Patrician brother's side. Latu. Latu keeps it alive. Can act straight away for Hayward. Hayward fires a long pass. Le Mortor. Winding up off a standing start. Here, Corpor. They just slow it down. Enough. Westfield. Going to One, two. Picks up. Here, pair, pair. Here, pair, now. Gets to his feet. Can act scheming. 
Sadia, De Corsi out the back, there's room to move. Gay just pops the pass up and says, here you go, Jack. Grab a four-pointer. Jack Nicholas scores in the corner. And one of the easiest tries he'll be on the end of as well, Jack Nicholas. All the work was done back on the inside. Wilson De Corsi, a show and a go, too much strength. The Westfields goal line defence unable to, to just wrap up the ball carrier and De Corsi was good enough, and enough quality just to get that offload away and just too much happening on the outside. Well, they talk about the spine and, and in that set we mentioned the three of them. Kornakas, Sidir, De Corsi. And, and that's the key. When those three combine, they're unstoppable. Yeah, just so much quality in this Paddy's Blacktown lineup. I was about to compliment Westfields on the other side of the field as well because They've been able to keep uh, Marcellus Iacopo quiet, the, the right centre who scored a, a brilliant try last week in the semi. He's got an unbelievable ball carrying game, but we've barely called his name this afternoon. Um, but, you know, Paddy's Blacktown, to their credit, were able to get things going back up and, and score on, on the other wing. Uh, Jack Nicholas, he scored a couple of tries in that exact corner last week here at Campbelltown, and he's done it again. Huge kick coming up here as well. It is indeed. Jet Sudia trying to push it back out to that seven-point lead. Once again, the crowd will let us know. They got the hands up. He's already kicked one from the sideline. Don't forget. And this time it's across the face. So 17-12, 11 left. Don't go anywhere. I've got a feeling this is going to be a one-point ball game in the latter stages. I just have that suspicion, particularly given the, the severe field goal at halftime as well. Westfields are next, next to score. Craig doesn't muck around with the restart. Blacked out the Patrician Brothers side. Bring it out. Oh, it looked like a... Oh, no, he's hung on to the football. I wasn't sure then if Patrick had hung on to that. You'd have to think that those that Westfields team were just in their own in goal discussing the fact that it came off the back of an error as well. They just can ill afford any sloppy passes out of dummy half. Just They just need to be clean and just about perfect from here and get themselves back in this game through just solid footy and play that territory game. Haywood looks like he's gone to nine. Sadia picks up Kerala onto the field in jersey 14. Dyson Brettel. He'll go to halfback by the look. Well, 5 8. He goes to the right to Sadia. Sadia puts it high. It's a deep kick. Wonga doesn't have a lot of pressure, but takes it nicely. He'll look up. He gets out of the Haywood tackle. Big set coming up right here for Westfields. They need to get to a kick and try and drive one in behind a Corsi. Fui Tamal. Craig. Craig, this is where he's dangerous. He beats one. There's all oh, referees happy with that one. As they collar him nicely. It was a Latu. It was the tackle. Had to be made. Galvin. Good yardage in this set so far. On four. And wanting a runner. Parent Torrey near Williams. Doesn't get it. And yes, it's come from. Let's go. Helen Gahu just picks him up. You can swap jerseys after the game. So. <laughs> Galvin puts it high in the air. Who will it be? There's a little chat there. Oh, I tell you what, coming through. They've let the ball bounce. Knocked on there from Westfields. Referee says play on though. Dick Corsi says I'm going for a run here. Beach one, beach two. Is that enough advantage? Interesting to see what the referee does here. You'd have to think it's Westfield's ball here. I think it is. I think the advantage played. It's gone 25 metres. 100%. I mean, if that tackle isn't made by RQM out there, De Corsi's scoring a try at the other end. So if that's not an advantage, I don't know what is. I was really surprised. But as you say, De Corsi... And Queeroz Mapasuo, you, you've hit the nail on the head, Phil. That is a great chase. Yeah. In the context of this game, eight minutes left. We might come back to that at the end of the game. 
Well, and they've made a couple of those try savers too. Don't forget Will Craig's effort earlier on in this second half. If they go on to win this game, they'll be pointing to those two tackles. Lewis, he has a quick play. The ball again. Galvin, Galvin, Queer Oz, Mapasua. Can he ice the cake? And A. Roberts. Looks like he's gone into the dummy half row. Back underneath. La Pepa. Three on two on the right. La Pepa, they go to the left. Galvin, that's where they always tend to look. Flat pass for now. He's going to be held up. Now bring it back to the 10 and reload. Great goal on defence once again. It was the right option from Galvin just to ask that question. Paddy's Blacktown up to it. Short, flat pass. Vivella. He'll play it a metre out on the last tackle. Options. Baron in there, Williams. That's who gets it. He's got Galvin sweeping around the back. Long pass, too long. Too long, too wide for Will Craig. Yeah, Galvin just misfired on execution there. You could, you, we knew what he wanted to do, but at the same time, it was pretty well covered by Nicholas. Probably just had to go one out rather than try the cutout pass there and just ask that extra question of Paddy's Blacktown. They've, re they've let the, you know, the, the pressure off there. Yeah, Will Craig need to be Inspector Gadget to take that. But now, as you say, Patrician Brothers, Blacktown, there's plenty of chat between these two sides at the moment too as we roll into the final seven minutes. Yeah, Galvin would love his, his time over there with that pass. Strong carry. Still plenty of time, though, for Westfield's big defensive set for them coming up right now. Latu. Gets up. Fair bit of chat again. Sangalang. Haywood. Helen Gahu. He provides some impact off the bench, Sangalang, doesn't he? Well, he fits in everywhere, doesn't he? That's the thing with him. Haywood, Haywood. Oh, he slips over. It looked dangerous as he snuck out a dummy half. Bernard is back onto the field. Needed to be. Latu. They pick up and slam him on his back on the last tackle. Good day. Sadia. Knows he needs a deep kick. That's exactly what it is. As Attacking the football, Wanga. Wanga looking to bring it back with interest, but Brettel's up to the task. Great play from Daniel Wanga. That was not an easy take to come down with. He had to move fast and forward to get to it on the full, and he did it with a plomb. Fui Tamal. Galvin in a dummy half, finds Craig. Craig tries to get over the top of Sangalang, but he hangs on. He hits at good angles, Craig when he comes infield looking for a carry. Still going and gets the quick play. The ball referee says, back you go. 300 centimetres. Wolf and Nora back onto the field. Baron Toyota Williams. He picks up La Pepa. You think Galvin's going to send a high one here? I think they nearly have to. Look like they're going to run the footy. It goes to Galvin now. He's, he puts the little kick in. Dick Corsi diffuses the situation and stays in the field of play. Yeah, it was a, a fairly well-weighted kick, but the Corsi was just good enough to come down with it. Uh, and too much strength not to get driven back into his own in goal. So now to the biggest defensive set of this game for Westfields. Can they cause an error? We're on tackle three now. They haven't gone far. Kaborian. Yeah, it's a no frill set from Paddy's Blacktown. Just trying to get the ball out of their own end. Big dummy there from Brettel. Haywood controlling. Finds Sangalang. Sangalang on the right. Great run. An ankle tap. Found brought him to the ground. Found some room in behind the ruck. We're on the last tackle, 15 before. The halfway line, Sadir says, I might have a run here. Pops it out the back. Le Mortor. He keeps it still alive. And winding up, Kaborian. Kaborian comes back. He puts the kick across for Nicholas. Nicholas. Nicholas gets the bounce. Will oh. Craig. Oh. Desperation. What about the two wingers combining? It's just <laughs> severe quality from both of them. Will Craig and Jack Nicholas, they are just unbelievable operators. That's two try savers for Will Craig now. Yeah, it was a kick from Kaborian, looked across, saw Nicholas. 
So three and a half. Yeah, they've probably got two more sets with the ball in hand. So do they want to try and get expansive now or just try and get the ball up the other side oh. of the park? Good shot from Latu. Latu lifting up his school. Trying to be inspirational. He's been powerful all day, the 13. He's an unbelievable player, Latu. Galvin, Galvin wants Wonga. They move it quickly. But it beats one, beats two, back inside. Wonga's got Galvin. Galvin will bring it round under the sticks. Westfield's for tie. Oh, he's dropped the football. Unbelievable, the desperation from Patricia Brothers, Blackjack, Jared Haywood. What just happened? Jared Haywood as Lachlan Gowan looked to put the ball down, has flicked the ball out. Are you kidding me, Sully? No. I'm, I am utterly speechless as we see time blown off. I mean, the try that nobody saw coming, crafted from the other so the other half of the field, down at Westfield's left edge, all of a sudden it was a classic two-on-one, Galvin back on the inside, all he has to do is put the ball down. All he had to do was put the ball down. Exactly. I'm not sure why the ref and the two touches, might have been a little bit of push and shove. I want to see the replay because it'll just highlight the effort, the chase from the Patrician Brothers Blacktown, number six. Went for all money. Wow. And obviously what we're going to be looking at now, and well, the book he, could he be doesn't open. have the benefit of video review, of course, so he's just asking for some opinions from the touchies right now, and we're going to figure out whether or not Galvin yeah. knocked the ball forward yeah. or whether it was dislodged backwards, backwards, in which case Westfields might have the ball yeah. 10 out right now. Correct. Correct. Okay, cool. The book might not be closed yet. Yeah. Okay. Just and of course, there was a little bit of carry on after play was blown dead as well. I don't need you coming in and escalating that. You can go. Let's give him down. Let's go. Go. The same, the same I think they carry on after the ball. And Lachlan Gallon will be and filthy on himself. And number one, Wilson. He knows all he had to do was plant the ball down. No, no, no. I'll try one, bro. But okay. that's a lesson that he'll going for a try. take all the way through the rest of his Rugby League career, Just unfortunately. Up in front. So that's going to be down his offside. Of course, he also that's came in. And reminded Galvin of, of what had just transpired. He could be in some strife here as well. So he's going to coming in. I don't I need you here. I need you coming in this thing. We'll just let the referee deal with it. The referee so daily. Yeah, okay. And we've got a report for you coming in and then slide in from distance. He comes from distance, you can go. He's got ten as he, well, he as you said, Wilson De Corsi. Yeah, he, he didn't... It's, it's down there. I had him in touch. Uh, he did not, not escalate the situation. Did he coming in, rubbing uh, Galvin's hair? Well, here's the That's replay. This is what we've been waiting for. You can just see it. They move it, and Galvin did nicely. He got the pass, and it was just down that left edge, Fui Tamal. And he looked up, and all of a sudden, back for Wanga is the tackle. Yeah, I mean, this is an unbelievable effort from Haywood. Yeah, so he's banged it backwards. It's a penalty Westfields, and they will have a chance. 12 on 12, two and a half minutes to go. We saw last year's grand final come right down to the wire with Paddy's uh, Fairfield getting the job done. Right now, we have a grandstand finish this year as well in the final. Let's just explain why there's a penalty. Nicholas was offside, so it's an offside play. Now Westfield, is the book still open? Queer eyes, Matt Basilla! Open. Queeroz Mapasura gets the inside pass. He's been damaging all day. Too big, too strong. Full credit to Westfields because their defensive efforts in cover have kept them in the game and they have just knocked on this door 
on the opposition goal line right the way through. Paddy's Blacktown have barely put a foot wrong with their goal line defence. One of Westfield's previous tries coming off a kick, of course, don't forget. That is, that is only the second time they've been able to penetrate that Patrician Brothers Blacktown try line and it comes at the most crucial of stages adjacent to the sticks as well. They're going to kick themselves in front with a minute and a half to go. Roy Quiroz Mapasua. The Westfield Sports High. They met in the final in 2020. And Patrician Brothers Blacktown ran out winners 22-16. To etch his name in the history books and put Westfield in front. Just an astonishing finish. It was 13-6 at half time. Roy Quiroz. Mapasua. Unbelievable stuff. Three tries apiece. Goal kicking becomes the difference. And Patrician Brothers Blacktown, they're going to have to kick off short and see what they can do. Well, they don't. They get a piece of it. Brettel kicks it deep. He kicks it too deep. That's a dreadful mistake. Too deep out on the full penalty. Westfield sports high. I don't know why you just don't try and put that one into the air and contest it. I understand what they're trying to do, but that's the risk you take when you try to drill one for the sideline like that. Unbelievable stuff. Patrician Brothers Blacktown, they've, they've been in front just about all game. They've looked like, they, they've certainly looked like the better team in this first half. But the moments we spoke about Sully, Will Craig a couple of times, his cover defence was just simply outstanding. There was another effort as well. And ultimately, that's going to prove the difference. Well, Westfield Sports High, they went through the preliminary rounds undefeated. They've come through with quarterfinals and semi-finals victory and just when it looked like they were gone. Only in rugby league, Sully. They have lifted the siren sounds. Westfield Sports High are the Pete Mulholland. Cup champions of 2023, and if you're going to silence a crowd, Phil, that's how you do it. I'm just looking at some of the faces in this crowd as well. They just look absolutely bewildered at the what has just transpired. And I, 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 I said it just before, Sully, but only in rugby league could something like that happen. Just absolutely speechless at what, at what we've just witnessed. And you see someone like Will Craig on his back, just completely can't believe what has just happened. A number of Year 12 plays in this Westfields team as well, and they will finish their schooling lives with a moment that they will take to their graves. Oh, it's been a game to remember. 13 points to six. Patric Patrician Brothers Blacktown led. Westfield haven't put their noses in front until the last minute and a half. Roy Quiroz Mapasua, he's damaging runs all day, scores next to the upright, and then, as we said, puts his name in the record books. And they run out winners 18 points to 17.
Thank you to all of us for this amazing competition and great games and things like that.